So today we will be talking about, or I will be talking about, um, my DNA results like I talked about in one of my other videos um, in our Gambia series. I'll be talking about my DNA analysis which is on my t-shirt which is by Ivy J Cosmetics. Shout out to Ivy J. And I'll be going over my results. My t-shirt does have different percentages. Okay, there we go. So my t-shirt does have different percentages. Um, because it keeps changing the more DNA um, that the database gets, the more they're able to find or pinpoint it. I know some people are like, I'm not giving them my DNA. Well, just think, if you've watched those crime shows, you know that they can get your DNA off of a straw, off of something that you ate off. So it's that simple. Going through your trash, your DNA can be picked up pretty much anywhere. And I learned that also from a forensic class that I took as well. Okay, so my current DNA results is that I am 41% Nigerian, shout out to Nigeria, 18% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu, um, which is a little bit surprising because before I had a way less percentage, so that percentage keeps creeping up. Now, I do know people, just to backtrack, from Nigeria, um, shout out to my Nigerian homies, um, and again, if you haven't watched our video on places that we want to go, Nigeria is a place that I do want to go. Um, I do want to check out Lagos and possibly, well not possibly, I do want to check out Lagos and I also want to check out Abuja. And uh, that's pretty much it for Nigeria. I know Kai is anti-Nigeria. She is so concerned about Boko Haram. Um, but I'm not really worried about Boko Haram. I know that they stay in the woods, wooded areas that border the three countries, which I forget what the other two countries. I think it's Chad, Nigeria, and there's one other country that it borders. And I apologize because I don't know that offhand, but I know they're in the wooded areas on those borders. Okay, so again, 41% Nigerian. 18% Cameroon, Congo, Western Bantu, 17% Benin, Benin, Togo, which is very interesting because I don't have a high percentage of Ghana on here, but because Ghana is comp uh, comprised of the people that are from the neighboring countries as well, because we know how the map was divided in Africa, um, so the, some of the same people that are in Beni and Togo, or Benin, my bad, and Togo are also in Ghana as well. So I, I haven't done one of the African, specific African, uh, DNA tests to find out like what African people I'm from, but I don't know. Right now it's a little expensive. I think the last time I checked it was between five to eight hundred dollars. So the one that I did was, I think, ninety nine dollars. Okay. And then... The next one is Mali. I'm actually 8% Mali in heritage. And then we get into the under 5 percenters, which is 4% Norway, which, you know, slavery. Um, and then 3% Senegal, which I was very surprised to see Senegal because Senegal had not showed up on my previous uh, DNA test. So very interesting. Okay. So I have to learn more about Senegal, which of course we're on our way to Gambia, which is right next door. So hopefully we'll get a chance to pop on over to Senegal and I can add Senegal to my list of places that I've been. And then 2% Ivory Coast in Ghana. So my husband being from Ghana, I was hoping that I was a little bit more Ghanaian, but I'm married to a Ghanaian, so what more can I ask for? So those are my DNA results. And then, hold on one moment. Then I had 3%, oops, no, that was the last one, sorry. What am I missing? That was a comparison. Oh, and then the, yep. So then the, again, less than 5% category would be Ireland, 1%, England and Northwestern Europe, 1% also. And then I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. Co Kosian, Kosian, it's listed as Kosian, Aka, and Mutumbu people, 
which is 1%, and I believe those are people from East Africa, if I remember correctly, but I'll look it up for sure and I'll put it on the video, but I believe I looked it up and I was curious, like I've never heard of these people before, and it's all kind of grouped under one category as 1%. Then 1% Portugal, which is something that was new also. Didn't know that. Uh, my friend that's from the Cape Verde, interestingly enough, uh, yeah, her brother was born in Portugal. And then the Middle East, which was something that was new too, 1% Middle Eastern. But again, people are always mixing. Who knows what that one, what those all 1% because I have several of them. It could have been my great, 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 great grandma was mixed with something and that's how the 1% shows up. But overall, I'm very proud and I'm happy to represent Nigeria. Again, I got my shirt from IVJ Cosmetics and I just... Uh, it says, if you cannot see it, the true definition of a mixed chick. So true definition of a mixed chick. Nigeria is number one. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out our other episodes. Um, I have not gotten Kai to do a DNA test. She said she would do one if we got up to a certain number of subscribers. I can't remember if she said 500. Um, so do help us out. Share our videos. Like, definitely like so other people can check it out. And hopefully we'll get up to the 500 or maybe before then, if you guys put it in the comments down below, we can get Kai to take a DNA test to find out what she is. Um, I have a feeling she's going to have, of course, African, but I have a feeling she's going to have more um, like Irish or Scottish uh, just because of her dad's side of the family. Um, and another interesting point, uh, because her dad's side of the family too uh, have Native American and my family, we were supposed to be Native American also, which we know as African Americans. We always love to say that we were Native American because of just like the stigma and the shame, I guess, of being African. I don't know. So we would say, oh, we're Native American. We're Blackfoot. We're this. We're that. Um, but long story short, my grandmother had told us that her mother or grandmother was Native American. It didn't show up in my DNA at all. And I know people that have had DNA tests and Native American shows up for them. So I found it very odd that the Native American that was supposed to be in my family wasn't there. So we'll see if Kai, if her dad's side of the family has Native American in it or not. But I, again, I'm pretty confident that it'll be like Scottish, Irish um, in her family. Uh, yeah, so on that note, again, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment, share, subscribe, and hope to see you on the next episode. Thank you.